In the last two weeks, officers in the valley have responded to several car chases, some leading to crashes. One West Fargo woman says she was bringing groceries from her car to her home. When she came back outside, her car was stolen. Valley News Team's Joshua Poguero has more on this story. Jordan Burley says Sunday morning she went to buy groceries. She parked what was her old car at the same spot where her new car currently sits at. They picked a perfect timing apparently because my neighbor's always outside. She's always doing yard work with the flowers in her garden over there so I was kind of shocked. After taking up the groceries, spending time inside, she went to take the trash out and that's when she noticed her car was missing. She says she regretted leaving the keys inside. I was pretty devastated uh, being a single mom and just moving to Fargo four weeks ago is kind of hard to imagine and coming into an area and thinking it's safe and then find out your vehicle gets stolen. Burley says the car wasn't even a year old. Tore up the driveway when they peeled out and then down the road over by the dumpsters, burn marks because you can see the tire tracks. West Fargo police were notified of a car speeding through the parking lot at this family fair and soon after, a chase began. West Fargo police say Dylan DeLay blew past several stop signs and even failed to yield at a crosswalk, nearly hitting two kids and a woman. DeLay eventually crashed into a construction zone, but not before two people bailed out the vehicle. This is not a guy that should be on the street if he's done this before on people and he's stealing and he's doing drugs. Burley says her old car was totaled and the thieves even stole the car seat she had for her kids in the car. In West Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. This is an ongoing investigation. There's no word yet if the two other people who jumped out of the vehicle have been arrested. Delia, however, remains in the Cass County Jail on four charges.